Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is a new Let's Try campaign. This is Railway Empire, a game came, made it by uh, Calypso Media. It's about a year old, I think. Uh, maybe I should have researched that. But um, I told myself I wouldn't start any new Let's Try campaign with so many good games on the horizon. But then I tried this. I had like two hours of free time and I instantly fell in love. So I thought, well, after I just stopped myself playing in the middle of the night, then I thought, well, you know what? Why don't we make a start from scratch, make a new campaign? Uh, so I'm going to make a few episodes of this, maybe one, maybe a few, just to complete the first part of the uh, first chapter of the campaign. If you like it, then uh, let me know and I would like to continue. But if this is really like, oh, the why is this not Factorio, then um, I'm probably not going to continue to do that because... Of course, it takes its time. So, with the usual, as any YouTuber says, uh, remember to like and share and uh, subscribe and all that good stuff, especially in the first episode, because that is where it really counts. And then I can see if there's interest. Enough of the self promotion Let's have a look. Railway Empire is, not surprisingly, a railway management game. And the part I really love about it is that, like Factorio in the sense, is that once you set something up, it's stable. It's a very important aspect because that means you don't have to micromanage and that means you can scale up. It is tremendously fun, but let's dive in. So the campaign consists of five chapters. What we're going to do is we're going to start with, obviously, chapter one. Chapter one, the Great Plains. The first chapter takes you to the construction site of the Union Pacific Railway, which was started in 1863. Tracks were built westward to the establishment of the first transcontinental line. While you are conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks, you will learn the basics of Railway Empire. Thomas Clark Durant, the visionary in charge of Union Pacific, will in assist you. All right, so it starts with a bit of a cutscene. I like the slightly cartoonish look of this and uh, the simplified. I love that it's not ultra realistic because that kind of has a tendency to detract from some of the gameplay. So it's it's really crisp. It's really easy to see what's going on, which I absolutely love. So let's um, dive in, some cutscene and maybe a bit of talking, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, not quite. Uh, we're starting with a bit of money. We start in Omaha, no competitors, realistic network, we can pause. Okay, and here we go. Sometimes I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life to poetry. How about you? Nope, nope, that's not what I think about sometimes. All right, I am starting as the industrialist. So this is something that's been unlocked. Uh, and this basically means we can do some manufacturing of factories. I will try to Let's explain go. that. Okay, okay. Time is money. All right, time is money, friend, as a goblin saying goes. All right, this is a bit irrelevant. We just dive in and explain things as we go along. I'll try to explain as much as possible of the mechanics. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured, but the time was ripe. Okay, we're Greetings. in game. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should okay. familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. 
Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. All right, so he stops talking a bit. Okay, so this is the overlay, just to explain it. We have some fog of war and we have here the minimap as usual. And these are the cities and the connections we have. So we start with one city, that's Omaha. And well, someone more familiar with uh, American geographics could probably help out here on where exactly it is. So um, the cities, I don't think we we'll do much except for what it says. So build station, we can build several sizes of station. Uh, this is important to begin with. First, you're like, why would I need to pay more money for a different station? It's interesting you can't rotate once you're in this picture. Okay, anyway. Um, small station has one track, two tracks, and four tracks. And that's about as big as they get. I think we'll build, let's see, on Omaha, do we... Right, uh, right click goes out of it. That's just a normal. Okay, we are gonna. This is gonna be a small one, so let's build a small. We can always upgrade it sometime. So, we built the train station right smack in the middle of the city. I love the Very fact that you just put it in. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do oh, this, will. switch to track construction mode. All right, so we switch to track now construction. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. All right, so we do here, click, and then it draws a line and hook it up to that anchor point. And then we get a track construction overview, 98 miles, and some cost that is essentially, what well, is really important because trains do not go uphill very easily. So if you don't want elevation, they can't get too much elevation. That means sometimes when you go with bridges, if you have to climb mountains, you do tunnels and tunnels are really expensive. Bridges are quite expensive. And if you build tracks next to each other, it will be less expensive. So we pay for it. Now create your first train so that you can set up <clears throat> a rail line between your stations. And this is the brilliant part as well, that it didn't take any time. And, and yes, it's not exactly realistic, Initially, but who cares? Initially, train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Okay, do we make it from here, from Omaha to Norfolk? And the pictures here is, this is what it actually delivered. It produces, not demands, produces, produces meat and leather. And this produces beer, but it needs some raw materials, but we'll probably get to that. So I say between these two stations, fine. And then we have a train schedule here. But we don't have a locomotive yet. So we take this locomotive, the Philadelphia, and we simply buy it and then it's assigned. Then we have the train overview page here, where eventually we can put an engineer, a stoker, a conductor, a security guard, but not right now. Here we get some. Oh, ooh, it's moving. It's Very moving. Good. It's moving. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If yeah. there's something to transport, the train will automatically take it. All right, so this one actually there. Or we can jump along. It's kind of loud, isn't it? It's in the front. Yeah. However, oh, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Okay, so to follow on that path, then the train will break down. We all know the good Western style ideas here. Where, where is it? A supply tower, yes. They want us to put it here. Okay, so when we're in this mode, building mode, everything is paused. That's nice. So we are going to build a... Very yeah. good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. I can Each do. city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Every city Look, needs corn. there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city yeah. in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Yes, we do. Now right. construct a rural train station in the marked <laughs> location with a corn farm within its radius. <clears throat> You're very chatty, but this is a tutorial, so that's to be expected. Something that's kind of important to note is if you have these around and they're not hooked up, they will come a bit into the cities and they'll go into all the cities. But as soon as you hook up with the train, it'll only go by train, as far as I can tell. Oh, oh, look at the train. Yeah, no, 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 that's not it. 
Uh, nope. We'll get the change schedule. Oops, I have a new line. And see, it's it's a good, it's a beer train. Look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of beer. Eight wagons full of beer. That's nice. All right, let's go over here to this location. Build a rural station. That's a small station. And this is kind of strange because when you build it in the city, you have to build it within the square. When you build it with a farm, you have to build it around the square. And we'll try to make it so that now it kind of points. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. So we connect it from the station. Also here you can build bigger, but generally just build the small ones. There we go. And you pay for it. That's not very much. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with the logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a nope. side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. Yeah, this First, is getting... create okay. a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. So for the tutorial, we'll build it here. But generally, I wouldn't solve it this way. <clears throat> I would build it, solve it in a very different way. However, we'll we'll do it this way. So basically, and this is where we get back into factorial mode. We are gonna make train tracks. This is something we never do in factorial actually. So we take here and then we branch it off into this parallel. That little icon means it's now parallel. And then we go the length. And then we merge it back on the main line. That costs 22,000. I'll Excellent. accept. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, mm -hmm. you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. <clears throat> yeah, so this is now also what gets open interesting. building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. Now make sure yeah. that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so that trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. See, right now this means when it comes from here, it can stop here. When it comes from here, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't block. But if I change it by, what is it, shift? Excellent. Like that. Now do the then same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area there. And block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Very this good. Only I'm sure when that I'm wasn't here. at all easy. You nope. will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing <laughs> smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under hints and tips. Yeah. So there are different ways of generally doing this. I'm going to need to set up. Oh, okay. We now have tips. Oh, that's tips and tricks. We're not going to Now do assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. So we set up a line, it goes from Evans Farm, goes to Omaha, and then goes to Norfolk. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. The thing is, when it goes here, it goes straight through the other way. Hmm, is that good? I don't know. Uh, it probably is. What I do want though is I want to go in here and click the edit for. Evans Farm, you can see what tracks are available, what it wants, I pick up, and then I'm gonna say, you only go if you have a full train. There's no point in traveling with half empty trains. Also a good point is you built it where you want it to pick up first because the train will appear magically somehow at this location. Excellent. Build it. The corn farm Boom. will automatically make use of your train there go. because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. So there we're we go. still missing something. Really? Locomotives wear out over oh, yeah. time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. And that gets a bit wonky Construct sometimes. Such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station yeah. itself and expand the station with this building. 
Right. We've been lollygagging for long enough. <laughs> lollygagging? I need to return mm. to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do Thank not you. disappoint me. All right. Why would I? All right. So we finally be giving some control of the game. Basically, what we've done here is not how I do it because I wouldn't want the, those two tracks running there. Let's have a look at what we have here. So these are my, this is my, oh, Norfolk Gross, really? Norfolk Gross? Then I'm going to do something that, nope, it didn't grow. It's growing. All right, let's, let's take a look at the city overlay. Uh, this one is Express Goods. Express Goods is passengers and mail. You can see how little is actually being, most of it is transported by coach and almost nothing by train. That's not good. So we should probably fix that. Also because there's a lot of money in this part. It's something I always forget. And information here. If I click on it, I get an overlay. If I want the if I want the cities to grow because then they'll generate more value and more demand and more supply. Oh I wish you would pause when I'm here. So there are some basic things they all require. They always require grain, corn, wood, meat, and beer. Everyone requires that. Some, if they have a slaughterhouse, they require cattle. And this is where it gets wonky. What is that icon here? This one? It's a cotton plant. Cotton. Okay. Well, it used to actually say wool here. But. And sugar, cotton is for tailors. Uh, no, for cloth makers and like weavers. Yeah. Sugar is for alcohol. Cloth is... Yeah. For uh, if you have a tailor. This is for dairy products vegetable is also i don't think so that's just vegetables so there's a lot of things here down it gets really wonky and really difficult but okay okay so whoa that's a lot of pop-ups the demand of imported meat has been reduced as so maximum stock has been reached okay so that's interesting so if we look at norfolk here we have all the meat we can store so we don't want we don't need to uh, select the city dialogue and learn more about it if they're over 60, the city can grow. Yeah, so basically, if this number, fulfillment of demand, is more than 60%, the city will grow, as we can see now. Otherwise, it might even decrease. So keep the city growing. Really? Okay, I think these are just some generic things. Now, this is actually not how I would want to make it. I got a bit of money, so let's expand the station like this. So that's going to be now a freight train. But uh, let's look at this. If I click the line, I can see both of them. Omaha and Norfolk. See, this one should be edited to be a... There. Passengers and mail only. So that's an express line. Then I'll take it from this location all the way to that one. Yes. Oh, sorry. We forgot to take a look at... The task list. Connect Omaha with North North Platte. I don't know. Connect Omaha with Cheyenne. And then deliver cattle to Denver and meat to Cheyenne. And then 50,000 in my network. Okay. And reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne. And connect Omaha and Rock Springs. That seems to be the... Okay. So I think we'll do the first part here. And then we can see... Oh, okay. okay, so what did I just do? I had one here selected. I'm going to A, yes. And what I'm going to do then is take this one and then I'm going to make it out into a parallel track. I'm going to make it a big parallel track. Almost all the way. There, and then merge it back in. Yes. Right, so why am I doing this? The idea here is I want a speedy location. And no, click it, and there we go. All right, see that's done. Now there is another feature. If you hold Control and click, then you get signals all the way and signals all the way, which means this one can now be doing something different. All right, so I'm gonna take one of my trains, that one, that little train over here. See now it gets really wonky because. This train, okay, okay, we've got a little side mission. This train is 
Omaha to Norfolk, see it's on the wrong track. That kind of sucks. Um, because that means this train, it's being unloaded. Oh, it's being serviced now. And then it would like to continue, but it cannot because it's only now can it do it? Yeah, okay. Well, are you taking the wrong way? No, this train, this is where it gets wonky. I have to designate it in Omaha that you only use track one. That's that one, yes. Save. And now I'm going to take the other train, that one, and you in Omaha, only track two, and in Norfolk, only track two. There we go. What I've done now, I hope, is that I made one that can go all the way back and forth. Oh, hold on, like this. Sorry. That's now on track two. And this one should now be exclusively on track one. Because I want to keep them separate. Norfolk, only track one. Yes. All right. So what I've done now is make sure that I have a freight line that goes all the way. And I have a passenger line. I'm going to take the passenger line here. There isn't a whole lot there. I'm just going to clone the train. So we have two of those trains. Boom. And that goes here. Cool. All right. Let's have a look at this is beer. This is, this needs meat. So we need to get meat in here. Also, we probably don't have a water station on that side. Um, okay. I think that it, what I really need is to extend this one even further. Yes, please. So now we have a big station. If you look at this, four out there, four out there. I will need to get this station, the cattle. Okay, let's just explain it. So the cattle, if meat industry here, requires cattle and then it produces meat and leather. So I'll hook it up. Oh, I don't have any money. I'm going to wait until I get a train that actually comes in. Let's see. Does it make does the train make money? No, it doesn't. That's a bit. Oh, okay. Because it goes back to Evans farm. Unrest in New York. Populous does not want to go to war. No, who can blame them? And there are some, some silly things on these. Oh, I got enough for a train, but not enough to build anything more. Um, yeah, could, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just point it like this. Yep. So I get a bonus 84,000 in bonus. If I wire this up, which I absolutely will, but it's 29,000 and I can't do it. So I'm going to have to wait until I get 29,000. What does this say? The following applies to all train stations. The larger the station, the shorter the loading and unloading times be, and more rail tracks will be available. The unloading time is actually quite relevant. Okay. So basically, this one has to go into both because that's needed in both locations. And so far we need, we need the locks up here. We also need it for both locations, which is then getting a bit wonky. Oh, I know only at 5,000. I'm kind of, maybe I over invested here. Maybe you say, um, oh, can I, can I, where is it? That one. So this is where I look at my company, company value. Company transportation, oh, it is moving, locomotives, what are they? Then I could go over here and quarterly reports. That's a lot of numbers. Might want to go in there. I haven't really used it very much. The result of last quarter, so we are making money. That's something. And this is competitors. I am all by myself here. I could buy out competitors or buy stocks in them so they make money. Here I have a banking activities. This one is trade shares. Can I take, uh, okay, you know what? I'll just take that one. So do you want to take a bond that increases your cash by a lot? Um, the bond will automatically repaid after 100 weeks, as long as you have enough cash. Otherwise the duration will be extended to another year. Okay, fine. We got some cash. We got to spend money to make money and boom. All right. See this train actually only needs to go into one location. So we set up on train line going from Lee's breeding and in here. Now at Lee's breeding, 
we will make sure that it does not depart unless it has a full train. Because why would you want to run around have empty trains? There we go. Let's see. Yep. Cool. Alright, so we have some other things. Let's have a look at what you're requiring. Oops, yeah. So in order to make beer, so there's no beer for export. Something pinged, I don't know. Um so in order to make beer we What? There. Uh I'm gonna need some grain coming in. Yeah, see this is my demand and this is what's supplied, so that's nothing. All this demand is good, but I need you also need beer, but you can get it yourself. So all we need is grain. You, however, will also need grain. So this is where things become a bit dicey. And I'm going to have to kill my setup here. Why? Well, don't like it. Oops, that was the whole thing. Oh, it wasn't the whole thing. It was just from here. That's going to go on all the way down and then merge in. Yeah. The reason is I want more signals. There. And oops. And on the other side, see the reason why I want more trains. Yeah, off you go. And in order for me to get more trains, I need to make sure. Oh, that was too close. That is totally not what I wanted. Nope. These are popping up way too often. There. Let's go that location and then merge it in. Yes. Good. And the signal. The signal's disappeared, so... That is... Nope. There. Alright. And then I take my signal and control click and control click. Why? Because now I can have many more trains on it. Control click and control click. Cool. There we go. That means this lane can now hold more trains. And I think that'll be necessary. Because, oh, what is that? Evans Farm cannot be reached. Oh my god. Is that, are, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I think so. I think you can't be reached. In the wrong tracks, my friend. Ah, it's always the same thing. This is Factorio all over, isn't it? There. Uh, no. There we go. And I just wrecked all of these. This is what always happens. Control to remove. Control to remove. Ah, okay, that's a. Why are you there? So that's okay. And. And on this side, there. Okay. Whew. Let's see. Can it now reach Evans Farm? Oh, you better. You damn well better. Get out of that. There we go. Now it can. I was just in pause mode. Okay. So this one unfortunately goes straight to Evans Farm without any content. That sucks a bit. All right. We're going to hook up this one. We don't know if we are. Let's see. This one cannot, but a large station, which I barely afford, also cannot. So we just take a small one. So I'm going to take it in around here. So there are some hills as well that I need to be a bit careful of. I mean, I think it would be better to bring it in this way. But then it doesn't go straight through. So I think we'll do it like this. So we got the Lewis, Le Lewis clearing. Uh, it's funny how this, in the middle of absolutely no forest, it is a clearing, no shit it's a clearing, but I guess you should be a lot closer to the... Okay, so what is important here is, I'm going to do a little trick. That is to go from here. And here. And then place the supply tower immediately. And I can remove these stops. And if I then make a signal, 
because this is actually going to be interesting as well. I'm gonna have to make these signals. Don't think that's needed actually. But here it absolutely is. There and there. Which basically means that if a train comes in all the way up there and it wants to go into this no fog light, but it is already being loaded from the side, then it won't go. So now we can take this one because that's connected to the freight line. Nope. This is looking like an expensive one. Look at that. That's a giant bridge. We have the beautiful, beautiful bridge, but absolutely horrible idea. Let's not do that. Let's start dragging it and see if we can make it cheaper. Still really wants to do that. Um, oh, there's a hill there. A shitty hill. So we'd rather have a bit of roadworks and then some hill climbing. And a little bridge there and a bit of roadworks here. Can I get this one even further? I mean, the percent. Ooh. See, it's a longer path, but somehow cheaper. That could be really cheap here. There. We'll take that one. That looks somewhat less silly. And we can then set a train line here to here and then also to there. Yeah. That's the wood. But didn't we want the grains? Why did we not hook up the grains first? All right, whatever. I didn't. And I guess we'll just do that. Locomotive, go. And I forgot. Who is clearing only when it's completely full? Thank you. Question is, should I double this train, this track? I think I should because. Uh, yeah, I think I should. And this is going to be really expensive. I like how it easily snaps in there. Okay, and I guess I'm not, so that's too expensive. Can't, aff can't afford that. I need to focus on the hops part. Uh, let's have a look at the odd trains. Lease breeding, they made a lot of money. And what about, see that one, that little thing is an express train. So that's excellent. Didn't make a lot of money. I really wanted it to make more money. I thought that would be a good idea. So let's go back to our tasks. Omaha and North Platte and Omaha and KJN. Where are they? North Platte. That is how much? Oh, 350,000. I think I'll take that now. Uh, is there a station already? No, there's no station. Ooh, and there's no industry either. So I guess we have to take the small one, even though I, I'd like to build it bigger. I have to be mindful of that as that has to go in there. And now that has to go on this side, which will be, oh, and I can't even build that. Can I get some more bonds? It's just got to spend money to make money. Let's get another bond. Uh, take that one. That should be enough to get us going. And rail planner. Yeah, no problem. That's finished. Here are making progress. We made a lot of money there, so that's good. So now we can set up a train. No, we're not going to set up a train line just yet. Oops. Nope. We are first going to spend a lot of money to fork this one as well. This will be a passenger line. First, first we're going to build the passenger line. I hope that's going to be worth more. There, and then go in and there. That's another 99, even though they are parallel. Yeah, I guess so. All right, some signals. We do have the water tower here, so that's not a problem. Um, can I build it here? It's too close. Right hand drive. There. And the other side.
Oops. There you go. And do we have another water tower? Uh, maybe we should have built another water tower there. Because I expect this one to expand. Uh, oops, no stop in Union Pacific. That's us. 1,000 miles. That's pretty good. And no, 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 not yet. We are going to build more signals. So I'm going to just put the signals in here and here. Yes, they're free. So just keep working on those. There, here. It'll be only passengers mail. Go add a, that one. Sweet. And then I am going to... You know, I, sh I could clone it, but I'm just going to make it from the... No, 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 no. Okay. Like that. Okay. So new train, set up the line. I'm going to do there to there. That one here, loco. The, the point was that I wanted to start from each side. Now, one more thing that we can do here. I can actually make a dining car so we get more tickets more profit we don't know how much money this is making yet but it's a nice one it's a nice car uh let's have a look at our express line here that is a good express line let's have a look at it how much money did you make fuel 2900 i suppose that's good enough total balance so this is how much is weight weighted eight percent loading waiting time that's good and oops signal mode nope that one this is not really making a lot of money, is it? Oh, look at that. Maintenance, fuel, not making as much money, but it's been running a lot longer. All right, that's good. Now the next part is we have wired up that one. I really need to get some of that fuel thing in here. And I wish I had, could afford expanding this. Well, I can. There we are. Excellent. Now this gets a bit dicey, doesn't it? Because I actually need to move things by down by one tile. Oh, this is not good. This is kind of the... It, if you can scale these up early, then it's much better. Because now I need to get another line in to get to... Where is it? That one. But that's not so easy to do. Because that means I need to take out my... Just my two lines. The... Ugh, that sucks. No, that's not actually okay. It's actually that one. 20,000, that one, and... Ugh, this is bad. That is... Signaling mode. This is what always happens. So that's only the outbound, yes. And and that one goes here. What? There you go. All right, so. You go, and then that means hopefully with a bit of luck, I can kill a kill. Yes, thank you. Keep going. All right, so that's part. I'm going to get another one. We don't know what it's going to be used for just yet. Expectation is just that it will be used, and therefore... Flights, uh, uh, come on. Okay, whatever. I'll delete this. Some other time. And now the back to the signals. That one's okay. This one. Yep. Does it work? I think it does. And back to the signals here. Oh, it absolutely does not work. 
You're not connected to anywhere. Oh, that's the entire path. Damn. There. There you go. And the signals. All right. And now we can do that. Cool. Let's see. How many trains do we have now? We, oof. Okay. Norfolk. That's the one. Making money. That one. It's just starting because it couldn't get the other way. Cool. Okay. This is good. Now, the next part will be the fact that we do not have a place where they can be paired. So let's make sure we have a repair location at that location for Norfolk. Maybe I could have made it somewhere else, but that one also needs it. They pretty much all of them need it. It's just a random breakdown. Along its route, the locomotive also requires... Yeah, but don't we have that? Oh, we don't have that. That sucks. See, this is where you can build a supply tower. If you can build a supply tower that actually services all of them, and that's much cheaper. Okay. That one. Okay, so let's have a look. We can take one of these lines. Or actually maybe both of those lines. I think one line will be maybe enough. Small train station. And... Bishop's estate, and what we need it for is inbound here, 69,000, it's zero inclination, that's good. See, this is just some clouds, just uh, just in the cloud layer. I like that, it's a nice little thing. Buy it, and now this is actually going to be an issue as well, because that comes in on track number two, which traditionally... Oh, no, that's not possible. Yeah, let's demolish that one. See, what I really need is... I need to make sure that it goes into the first... No, I don't. It's fine that it goes in here, but if I also need the hops to go further then I absolutely must get it there. Otherwise, I won't get any to Omaha. That's not a good idea. So in order for us, I don't think they'll get in here, be reloaded, cross-docked. So it means that this one, I have to buy it. And then the supply tower will be, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, let's see, from here. No. There's a bit of uh, finicky work about this still. <gasps> did I did I destroy it all? Yeah, I did. I did. Damn it. From here. All right. Let's get in and merge side by side. There. Got it. And supply tower. Spill it a bit out. Cool. And this will be a single lane, but I need my... Okay, that's an intersection. Cool. Now let's build... Let's set up the train from... Go away, silly clouds. Escape. Bishop's, Bishop's estate. Only when absolutely full. And from there, it also has to go further on. Yes. And we have at now there was actually a perspective to this that could have been done where I took the same train from here. I think I could actually do that. So the one from Evans Farm. This train. What if I after Norfolk also gave it Bishop's Estate? Like this. And then it goes to Norfolk and then it goes to Omaha. Yeah. Bishop State. There. I wonder if that would work. I mean, it's not doubled, so it could be problematic. This car changes. We're not going to do that. 
Okay, that's part. Then let's take a look at the last one, the chain. We are going to get a massive bonus if we can hook that one up. Probably cannot at this point. Uh, hold on. This is going to be... I probably should twist it so it can continue working towards Denver. And upwards towards Casper because we need to get to Rock Springs. That's our total objective, which means probably up there. All right, so let's see. We are not really making any money. Why are we not making money? Oh, because we're in pause mode, probably. They're all making a lot of money. So we have Omaha to Norfolk. They are some express trains. Express trains, that's this. Oh no, this is no longer an express train because I'm sharing this network. Am I? Okay, off you go. Signal mode. That one. This train and that train. Okay, so they are just, they should be express trains. Oops. And one of the big challenges is when you have lumber here, ha, you can get lumber into that location, but how do you get it to somewhere else? Okay, North Platte grows and it made a brewery, which means it actually also needs to get hold of that. But that's going to be in the next episode. <clears throat> What we need is to build a train very straight across the flats here. Directly into a chain and that has to go a bit up. Whoa, that's expensive. That's a lot of bridges and I guess that's the a major bridge here. Now there's no bridges and a bit of roadworks. Okay, 1% incline is okay. And there's a bit of roadworks, bit of roadworks or earthworks just carving through the landscape. That's okay. That's actually how much we need. So I'm kind of building probably a bit too fast and that's why I'm running out of materials so rapidly. Despite, oh, there's something here. Select the track to view. Okay, these dust seem to pop. So this random breakdown that just happens. Oh, interest you. Ouch. Of our... But as soon as we get this one, uh, where is it? Where are you? That's Rapid City. I got lost. There, Chen. As soon as I get that one, then I will be able to make more. Should I just... Yeah. Oh, max value of bonds. Oops. There's still plenty of time. We'll be done by then. And let's see. Okay, so that means there is no other way than just waiting. So we have this one is a good train. This one is not really. Norfolk to North Platte is not really getting a, a good train. So you really need to get this one as well. But I'm not going to do it. Okay, something just unloaded here. Those random breakdowns. That is our Omaha Norfolk. Louis clearing to Louis clearing, Louis clearing to Omaha. What? What train is that? Louis clearing. Okay, that's strange. That okay. And let's see. This one doesn't give us much. It's just a little freight train that accidentally actually bought something else. No, that's that's express train, and the other one here really shouldn't be automatic freight only. There, yes, only one. That means we're basically, stuck. and we can go back to this, build it, and task completed. Those politicians in Washington get on one's nerves, but now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection, but a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs.
You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. And uh, not right now. But soon enough I will. I'll just put you in the middle. And then I'll make signals. They're free, so put them all over the place. There. I know I have to do that in Cheyenne. Let's do that. So here we go to the information. This is growing. As you can see, Cheyenne currently needs only a handful of goods, and you can only deliver yes. goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available okay. to the north wood. of Cheyenne. Also corn. Connect Cheyenne to a timber business and Not a wood now. farm, and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. Well, sorry, we are going to go for the money first. And that's this one. That'll be a passenger only. There. And that's from Cheyenne to Norfolk. And I will set up a new line from North Platte to Cheyenne. There we go. Oops, that one is passenger only. There we go. See, that's what we have now. All right, let's uh, zoom out. I think this is a good place to end. We completed the first two objectives. Now let's uh, start working at on these optional tasks in the next episode, if there will be a next episode. It very much depends on whether you find this to be an interesting uh, playthrough. I find it absolutely fascinating. It, there's always things to do. There's a lot of money management. There's track laying. There's finding out how to build good trains back and forth. And just always just seeing, oh, okay, this one is not full. Okay, well, it's not full, then should we then build another train? Probably not. Uh, so there's always something to do. And when there come competitors and lots and lots of other things. So we are going to wrap this one up here. As I said, if you like it, be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And also, if you're familiar with the game and you see some glaring errors, then throw uh, throw them in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it in the upcoming episodes, maybe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you around. Bye.